it's not just the first time SUV camping, it's also my dog's first time camping. So we headed out early to catch the sunrise at Pinecrest Lake Resort. An hour and a half into our drive, pretty close to our destination, we came across about five deer in our path, just like deer in the headlights. Luckily, we were going slow, otherwise it would have been bad news, sister. A few moments later. We arrived and stretched our legs and took in as much of that sunrise as we possibly could. And as we walked around, we came across the theater area, which was awesome because it's been closed all during COVID and it showed the schedule for um, the theater to show. This is also a place where they have church and other activities. So we're just kind of walking around and checking things out and going back to the sunrise. Even though Pinecrest Lake Resort is pet friendly, there are designated areas where pets are not allowed and it's very clearly marked. Um, but be that as it may, there still is a plethora of places that pets are allowed. As we continue to watch the sunrise, we've made our way on the side of the lake where the marina is. And as far as I know, pets are allowed on the other side of the marina away from the beach. I don't believe there's any signs that indicate otherwise. And it is the start of the path to go around the lake, which people do take their pets with them. A good time to walk around the lake would be first thing in the morning because it does get pretty warm later in the day and if you're going to stop, take pictures, take rest breaks, dip your toe in the lake, it might take about three hours to get all the way around. This part of the lake on the other side of the marina away from the beach is a popular spot for people that want to uh, walk across those floating logs. Did you see those floating logs? Yeah, I broke my ankle on those floating logs and ended up needing two surgeries. But the thing I like about Pinecrest Lake Resort is it is a popular place and you will usually run into somebody that you know. And luckily, when I broke my ankle on these logs, I did see people that I knew and they helped me pack up my car and it all turned out good on my trip back home. Let me clarify. If you live within two hours of Pinecrest Lake Resort, then you probably will run into somebody you know. Here's a little time lapse of the sun rising and my dog Olive playing in the water and playing with some sticks. Just having a great time. As we watch the sun continue to rise, Pinecrest Lake is starting to awaken with staff coming to the marina and fishermen starting to go out on their aluminum boats for those early morning catches and this is just a beautiful sight first thing in the morning before all the crowds start coming the water like glass with the reflection is just beautiful and during the day it's just really crowded um, but even though it's crowded and you might be just right up against somebody else on the beach it still oh, is enjoyable mm, to me anyway <laughs> so I'm pointing where the marina is now we're on the other side of the lake this is around the area that I take my dog to enjoy the lake and um, I get in the water Sorry. with her there's a, where a lot of people that have their pets with them will go on the other side of the buoys. Mm -hmm. oh, isn't that beautiful? And look at that little bit of color on those boats reflecting on the water. That mirror image, it's like a painting. And my dog is loving it. This lake they drain um, every year and it's quite a sight if you come in the winter to not see the lake there my girl's profile well good morning we've been here since about 5 30 haven't we olive she loves watching all the birds and it's almost eight o'clock 
we're just taking in the quietness of the morning here at Pinecrest. Um, it's a lake that you can walk around the whole lake. Um, it's uh, it's not an easy hike. It's not just a path. There there are some rugged areas, but not bad. Not, not I was able to do it. Um, I don't really do it anymore though. <laughs> I uh, this month. Is it still June? No, last month. I walked halfway around on the shady side. There is a shady side and a sunny side. Um, but we're just kind of hanging out, taking in the quietness. She's watching all the birds. Um, and then soon we'll join our friends. They came last night and um, we'll meet up with them. I'll I will set up my campsite and then my husband and my daughter and her dog will join us and we'll stay here for a couple couple nights and Olive and I will be sleeping in the SUV for the first time, SUV camping. Did I fail to mention how much I love this dog? She's a little bit over a year old, she's a Labradoodle and I love her. Well, Olive and I, I think you're ready for a nap, huh, honey? Um, that's, I mean, we're in the shade right now. We're in the tent that um, I brought for my husband. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on sleeping in the SUV, but right now there's sun on it. So, um, so I'm not going to be taking a nap in there. And then I have a hammock set up, but the sun is kind of on that too. I'll give you a little tour but right now, I think uh, maybe I'll let Olive rest. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> that would have that would have worked. If you're if you're playing like dealer and buddy, I would have went for it. Hi. Say hi, hi baby. There's another ringer. Father, yeah, daughter. Get him. Oh. There's another ringer. I'm just like getting too fast. I need to take my time. I don't like when I feel right. And here is our campsite, relaxing in a hammock that I got from Cosbox, now called All True Subscription. I've got my daughter's dog in the kennel. It's the only time we use the kennel. I just had him in there for his own safety because he didn't have his harness on, and he gets a little scared, so I was worried he might get out of his uh, collar. Um, so just relaxing. Somebody's trying to whistle. We're gonna kick us up some grub. Okay, you're on. I'm on, I better be incognito. So you undo this, right? Huh? It's hard. It's hard. Is it supposed to screw? There we go. Kinda? No, it doesn't screw. And this does. <laughs> like so. You have Whoa. it off? You have it off? Now I do. Okay. I gotta go find the matches. I'm a little cockeyed right there. Okay. You got Stay it tight? Tuned. Is it tight? Yeah. Stay tuned. We gotta get the matches. Stay tuned. Put it right here. Son. Put that right there. Oh, I just turned it off. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's off, huh? Come on, Paula. Okay, I messed up. <laughs> I thought I was turning it up. Okay, turn to the left. to the left. Alright. Get her done here. Uh -oh. fall off. We're 
we're making a quesadilla chicken supreme chicken supreme quesadilla onions marsh mushrooms oh just the works just the works First one, a little burnt, a little charred. This one, perfection. Wanna try it? You're using my mat. Look at you. You're a truck camper from way back. Huh, how long? How long ago? Dude, only you would put a rusty ass can of, we don't even know what this no, is. No, just leave it there. It's with, babe, you don't put stuff like that with water. I do. No. No. Aw, aren't they cute? The first time we've taken our pets camping. First night of SUV camping and I've got the fan rigged up right next to me and it's being powered by the uh, Jackery power source and then the mosquito nets that I made got the window down a couple inches and the net is protecting me from whatever bug is biting out there right now and um, I got my girl laying right next to me she had a great day For some reason, my husband feels the need to keep whistling. It's the matey call, babe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's 6.45 a.m. I look like Mr. Magoo. And uh, let me just say, uh, last night was pretty good. Um, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> the, the doggy would bark like that and I'm all is there a bear out there? <laughs> by window I spy my husband making coffee yep it's definitely morning <laughs> my girl so this fan right here cost me about five dollars it's one speed from Walmart and I have it plugged in to my Jackery power supply right there and I'll check when I get out of the car uh, how much power it took from just being plugged in all night. Plus I had my phone plugged in too. Let me see. You said you had to get your hands wet and it was the mating call. So let me see. That's all good. Come on, do it. You're so proud. No? It's brush time. She's so filthy. Come here, honey. Let's get brushed. Yeah, you like to get brushed, honey. Yeah, sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, she sees a bird. <laughs> it's okay. Come here, honey. You just need somebody. Well, at least to... we woke up, um, Emily. <laughs> Let me look at the. It's a. It's the Fourth of July parade. <laughs> Hi, honey. Look at you. Hey. Hey. Great. I slept great. Breakfast burritos. Somebody likes it. Are you crazy? You brush your teeth. So I just took a shower behind my SUV. Now I'm brushing my teeth. How I took my shower, my carbon monoxide detector's going off for some reason. 
um, is I have my sheet here and I've got it hooked right here. I made little straps for it and then I hook it with these little things and it surrounds me and I have privacy. I could change, take a shower. I did like just a little sponge bath and I feel great. Gonna go on a hike because so we gotta put the shoes on. So you don't get no blisters on your paws. <laughs> nope. There's some in the bathroom on the toilet. <laughs> go. <laughs> go for a hike, baby. Get your hiking shoes on. <laughs> Thank you to the stranger that took this picture and texted it to me. These are friends of ours that have been coming up here for years and they even have their firewood delivered to them. How are you guys? Oh god. Good. I videotape everything. You better get used to it. If you, you even post that, I Tonight's <laughs> meal, taco salad. And non-taco salad. Taco salad. Making more memories with the next generation and our dogs. I don't even think these girls had entered school yet when they started camping together. And now we have our grandchildren. Nine sixes. Hey. Hello. Whoa. Twelve sixes. Twelve. Where I'm behind you. Somebody is very comfortable. This is where she sleeps. Huh, baby? Well, that's the end of the first SUV camping experience. I was glad to be able to try it out with family and friends. And from here on out, it'll be just me and my Labradoodle, Olive, and occasionally meeting up with some old friends, stopping wherever we want in California for the year 2021 with no agenda. And then hopefully after that, maybe exploring the United States. Who knows?